Shut up, Maley. Shut up. Ah, I don't have that disadvantage. Stop talking about water. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's like this and Tignorant back again for another landmark. Yes, I gotta keep moving my hair out of the way, cause otherwise the cam is all finicky. It's the middle of the night, so you'll have to excuse the lighting and stuff. Now, <laughs> I I have to record another episode tonight because I've actually spent hours. Let let me show you what I've done, okay? Cause it's not much, believe me. So, one of, where is it? Infused heartwood. Wild heartwood. Now, we need wild heartwood for pretty much everything. By the way, I noticed in the last episode I didn't have my mouse cursor, so it means I don't have it this time. But anyway, right here, you still can see where I am pointing, essentially. So, I just gotta take that and keep that in mind. Palm heart. Now, the way you get wild heartwood is you have to fuse heartwood, which is just a normal tree component, with palm heart. How do you get palm heart? You gotta cut down palm trees. But, one of the biggest problems that I've actually come across and noticed with this, uh, I'm sure it's because it's in beta, is that half of the trees you find, you can't actually cut. So, what I'm gonna do right now, I was actually reading up, where is it? Let me see. I, I went, like, I legit spent like two hours at this, trying my best to find it. Hilltop? No. I think there was one called Overhang. That's it. That's what someone said. Now, I was reading on the forums uh, because, thankfully, you know, because this game has been around for a while with Alpha and all of that stuff. Uh, thankfully, there's still quite a few people that actually talk about all this, these things. Um, I, I was reading up, and it turns out that that flattening, rounding tool that I talked about in the first episode. Are we stuck at a loading screen? Come on. We, we can't get that until like later. We have to actually build the tool itself. So I thought, well, until then, may as well not bother getting a claim or anything like that, right? But monster build, cool, it's like a monster truck. But I figured until then, like, you know, we may as well, now let's see here. Let's start heading north, I guess. Somebody mentioned on the forums that they found a palm tree in this in this overlook area or overhang area I don't I vaguely remember hearing them say that it was to the north because unfortunately I'll show you right here because chances are this tree's not gonna work see that it is not possible to harvest that that happens with the majority of the trees that you'll ever find now this right here I would assume would be a palm tree right not possible to harvest that <laughs> so it's actually really disappointing that a lot of, I wanna get this copper just because I love digging in this game. I, I, I just, like, I wanted so much to be able to actually advance to an iron pick. I know it's possible because I've seen other people getting to the end of the game and stuff like that. Well, not to the end game, whatever. But still, it's like, it's possible. It has to be. And I guess we'll just keep pushing it until we do. Oh. I didn't even start my timer there. You know what? Let me start it right now. And let's just assume that we've been going for maybe five minutes. I don't know. Even if we call it a little bit early, that's okay. This is kind of cool, but I don't want to get stuck in there. Because we actually need to go over the mountain. Thankfully, in this game, you can jump over any mountain. Which I'm sure they're probably going to change later. But I love it. Because it means that we're not stuck. Now, are these palm trees that we're going to be able to cut? It's really weird. Like, certain trees you can cut, like nothing. Like, there's these gigantic trees that are in the forest area that I found out you can cut. And they actually are really awesome looking. <gasps> oh. 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 Did that give us it? Did that give us it? Heartwood, plain wood log? No. Is this giving us it? Plain wood log. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm watching the bottom left. And a heartwood. But we don't need heartwood. We need palm wood. Is this giving it to us or is it not giving it to us? Oh, by the way, I also um, crafted us a keen eye band, 
which gives seven to discovery i guess it apparently gives us like a better chance for finding like rare resources and i also have a scout's emblem which is one point to run speed these were actually very easy to craft uh i should have actually shown it while we were over at the spire i also messed with finding like here's some props and i don't know how those work yet i'm assuming that you actually just use them just in your own personal builds uh let's see did we end up getting any of the wood that we needed no no wrong one palm heart palm heart is the one that we need so it seems like based on certain areas like uh, another thing that somebody did mention which could be very likely is that hey you're not going to be able to cut half of the trees if you're in an area that has really bad latency now what that means for those that are not tech savvy uh rubber band is a common term that is used think of stretching out a rubber band it snaps back to its place right so if you're extremely laggy you'll run out to a place and according to your screen you're way over here but you're actually over here as far as the game is concerned right so that's why they call it rubber banding because sometimes you'll end up teleporting back and you'll see it like with uh just just in general certain games will end up doing it right now unfortunately i mean that's the thing that i've kind of discovered is after spending so much time uh by the way heartwood i read up you can only get two heartwood per tree so it's actually recommended that you cut down the smaller trees because they take less time to actually chop all the way down so that'll actually like double your time that you're getting heartwood for anyone that's actually searching for that i did uh, i've started doing a little bit more of my research but i am saying this right here that this series is going to be a lot slower than I thought it was because this game is a lot slower than I thought it was. I hope right now, today, is the quest for palm, palm wood because if we can't find palm wood, then I don't know what's really going to happen with this series because then we may as well just go get a claim and we may as well start building and never mind the rounding tool, right? So we've cut down all of these trees. Is this, I just want to see. I think this is just another palm tree because as far as I can tell, these are the exact same as these smaller ones, right? So this isn't going to give us any like plain wood log, plain wood log. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Let's keep heading north. So we're on to something because I actually, out of the hours that I spent uh, log hunting, that is actually astonishing that we actually Ooh, is this gold or some kind of something god i love the digging in this game man i really just dig it red faction all the way these guys know where it's at i love it and i can't wait till we can get a claim because then we can actually have like a hole in the ground and it'll stay <laughs> now i like that's the thing is out of all the time that i had spent that's really cool i love seeing people's random builds and stuff like that all over the place Watch this. Let's just for kicks. I want to cut down this monster, just because. I know we're supposed to. I know we're gonna get pressed on time faster than I think we are, but still, I I just want to push it. Whatever. Hopefully, like, uh, yeah. I keep going in circles because I'm really excited about this game. Like, I I know that it's a very slower paced game, but I just personally enjoy it. Plus, now that I have the webcam, it gives me an opportunity to be a little bit more entertaining visually while we're doing. Whoops, fell in our hole. <laughs> while we're doing, while I'm doing some more boring stuff, let's get to the top of this peak and see if we can get a peak. <laughs> At, uh, if there's any palm trees around. God, I love how he flips and backflips and stuff. It's so cool. But as I was trying to say, and I just keep going in circles, I didn't know that some of the trees where it says, oh, you can't mine that, we can, we can actually mine them. Now, I'm assuming somebody had mentioned about the overlook. I'm assuming that they meant up here because that looks like it's a desert or tropical island right that's a long way north you know what the journey will be worth it let's do it and then otherwise i'm sure there's someone that's like some experts probably gonna watch this video and be like no you go and get it here in which case that would save my ass that would be wonderful if like that's the thing about the forums that i have noticed and I'm still fairly new to it and all of that stuff, so I can't say for sure. But one of the things that I've noticed on the surface is people really like to beat around the bush. You know, it's like they... 
I, I don't like game forms because usually the community will be very, f uh, is fickle the right word maybe? About their, like, giving away secrets and stuff. Like, it's like they, they want you to earn it yourself kind of thing. And I'm all for that, but if I don't know where the damn tree is, and it's gonna take me, like, hours to just look around for something that is in one specific spot it's like just give me the damn info you know like i i don't care about stuff like that you know what that's a that'll be enough i'm gonna have to try and get we need a lot more copper if we do end up going for a uh what do you call like a claim because as far as i know i think it's 300 is it 300 copper per day it's either 300 copper per day, but I don't know if that is an in-game day or a real-life day. In which case, we're going to have to get a lot of copper because that means that I'm going to have to actually record this series a lot more regularly just because I don't find that much time to actually come on, especially to actually like come on and try to get like 300 copper a day. You know, like that, uh, that's kind of pushing it, which... I know why they're doing that, because as far as for their game is concerned, God, I love the digging in this game. As far as their game is concerned, I mean, that's that's just genius, because that, how much traffic is that going to get them on their game if you're going to end up losing your claim if, if you don't, aqu aquamarine, okay, we need some of that too, as far as the crafting supplies go, but still, it's like, that's going to really keep people online, you know, like, it's a really good addicting and cheap MMO way of keeping people online which these guys you know as much as people love to actually say that it's World of Warcraft that's the biggest MMO EverQuest actually takes it EverQuest was actually the one that really pushed all of that like making everything really long and drawn out so that people would have to be keep playing in order to actually progress like you see back there behind us when we're gathering like trees and stuff like that yeah like that that took a long time so that's how they kind of try to encourage you you want to get a better axe so that you can craft better so that you and you want to get more supplies so that you can craft a ring that makes it so that you chop down trees 10 times faster or something, you know? But it's not 10 times faster. It'll just be something minuscule like agate and coal. Okay. But it'll just be something like 0.5% faster. And it makes a difference overall, especially for something that you're spending hours on, right? Now, I got to start ignoring all of this beautiful ore as much as I love the digging. Ooh, blue stuff. I want a blue stuff, purple stuff, and some sunny D. We, ah, jeez. It's so shiny. I want to grab it all, you know? Even the, ooh. That, this chunk was actually iron ore. So that's something that we desperately need. Which, that's a little bit disappointing that it looks so similar to the agisite. Or uh, aquamarine, not agisite. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's not good. But you know what? Oh, well. That's, that's one of the biggest gripes that I have with games like this. Starbound was guilty of that too, where it has so many different ore components that a lot of them end up looking the same. Uh, one thing that I have noticed too about this game is as far as the crafting goes, I think personally that it's a little bit too like, I think they really need to fix their interface and stuff like that because personally, I think that it is just especially as a new player, it's extremely overwhelming with the amount that you can craft right off the hop. Like I think maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe there already is filters, but I think it should be like, you should only be able to get like, let's just say the iron pick is there, right? And it's like the only way that you can see the next level pick would be if you had an iron pick. I know that that kind of defeats the purpose for like, planning and uh, for planning a build and stuff like that like say oh oh this whole time i needed this special ore or something you know but either way whatever now one thing that i have noticed about this game which you actually will notice right now is that as much as the coastline actually looked really far away we're already there so navigating the world like as much as the map looks really big 
It's actually pretty quick and easy to navigate. Wow, all of this stone is just appearing right before our eyes, isn't it? I love the digging in this game, man. I can't wait till we get like drills and stuff like that. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. I don't know why you would actually want to use drills if, because like what we were reading up where it's like if you use a drill, it kind of is really good for digging, but it doesn't actually like give you the resource. So I guess what that would be for is I hope that that's someone's castle down there. That would be beautiful. I wonder if, ooh, is that a palm tree? If it would be like just to get dirt out of the way so that you could find better resources or something. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Sliding. I love it. Slide. Yeah. Oh, man. Is this iron? <gasps> is this iron? Tin. Tin. That's even better. And we're getting special elemental tin. <gasps> that's what we need. Tin is a very, very common resource with a lot of the crafting that I've noticed. Uh, at least for all the low tier crafting. I'm not sure about the higher tiered stuff. But yeah, so good to know that there's actually like they do seem to have pockets. So as you're noticing on this area, as we got a little further from the spire, now all of a sudden there's tin everywhere, right? Because they actually didn't have it as much. I think this is just an aquamarine, right? Yeah, that's just aquamarine, which it's always good to have everything. Uh, especially with how we are right now where we're right at the beginning of the game where it's like there's nothing that we shouldn't grab you know that that's kind of the kind of the way that we approach it now i wonder are we going to be able to cut these one and two i i'm just a little curious i wonder whether or not as soon as we cross over to the desert if this plant will suddenly turn into a different style. Like, uh, say we find the same tree over in a desert, will it give you the resources that a desert tree would give you? Rather than, like, even if it's one of these forest trees? You know what, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Now this looks like a new type of tree. And over there is actually quite a few. Oh, God. I love this. Look, oh, this tree's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Yes! So we can cut it. It's giving us burled wood, so that's something else. And heartstone. So burled wood is good, but it's still not giving us palm. I'm assuming that it's gonna be palm trees. Like I I I think it's going to be actually very obvious. Ooh. A log. And it's giving us more burled wood. Okay. So like I'm assuming that a palm tree is just going to be straight up a palm tree. Like, uh, I'm sure that they're trying to make it a lot more obvious than it is. Ooh. This place has a lot of ore. That's one thing that I'm noticing. Is this just coal? Oh, this is iron! Man, see, see, the iron looks completely different on this terrain. That could also just be because the night cometh. But I mean, my goodness, man, my goodness. And, oh, I guess I should mention, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if I mention it or not. Uh, but just about not having the background today just because I figured yeah I, I just needed to record because like like I said like I've already been at this for a couple hours And then I took a little bit of a break. This is one sweet pocket. Let me go to first person here Because there's actually still quite a bit down here My goodness Kiss my gris. This is just this is amazing. Okay. Did we get it all? It looks like it Ooh, that's really weird. Uh, you can actually, one thing that I've noticed, uh, one time when I got stuck in a cave, I actually did that where I went right up to the wall so that I could, I think this is tin, I hope it is, so that I could peek through the world and find out what direction to go. Because I actually, caving, I don't think we're going to do for quite a long time. Uh, first of all, I never found anything worthwhile in the caves. One of the videos that are on the actual website and stuff actually teased that there would be chests in caves. I don't know if those are actually implemented yet. I'll have to do a little bit of research, but I don't really care right now to actually do the research because we're not equipped to go caving. Because when I went caving just the first time, just for kicks, I was just doing it. I saw a cave, I got excited, I went in. Is this iron? But yes, it is iron. Okay, so iron looks, ooh, is, is that a palm tree? Or is that just a bush? 
I think that might just be a bush. But we need a grappling hook. This is really weird. So it looks like... This is actually like a different biome. I guess that's what we would call it in, even in this game, right? Or an island? I don't know. But it looks like this is a different type. We're getting essence of earth? Cool. It looks like this is a different type of biome underground here that actually is generating grass on top of it. So that's that's quite strange. I didn't know we could actually find stuff like that, especially underneath a desert. My goodness, this is one great ore vein, isn't it? I hope it never runs out. <laughs> Give me the ore. Give it. Reach. Reach for the sky. You know what? I Noticing too, like on our episode time here. Yeah, it actually is. Okay, cool. So we're, we're probably going to have to actually push. Oops. I fell in the hole again. Well, whatever. We don't... Ah, we need all the iron we can get though. But the palm heart is the biggest thing. So we'll see if we get it today. We may end up having to get it in the next episode. I don't know. What I am noticing is that there is no trees in this area. Mmm. Mmm. That's not good. That's not good. Because I don't want to... Like, we'll probably end up ending the episode out here. Uh, rather than actually trying to head back. Well, at least we can see this guy's sweet digs. Because that looks beautiful. Oh, this guy knows how to build. Out of... I gotta say, out of all the builds that I've seen, like, you... You kind of may have noticed... I love the water in this game, by the way. But... I don't think they have swimming implemented yet. I think you just sink like a stone, right? They have swimming! They have swimming! I didn't know they had swimming! As far as I knew, they you would just sink to the ground because they actually let you build underwater. I guess that must be something I didn't catch. But as far as you've noticed, like, see, remember at the beginning of the episode, that monster build? And it looks really cool, don't get me wrong. But it seems like a lot of people just kind of choose whatever they want for blocks rather than being like, I like this guy's build because it's consistent and it actually looks like it fits into the game world. That's the biggest thing because I've noticed with a lot of other people's builds, um... They actually will pick very colorful, very shiny blocks, but they always seem to have one bland color rather than this one where this guy seems to be going for an actual texture. Another thing that I've noticed is he doesn't seem to have that smoothing tool either, and it looks great. I mean, maybe he does have the smoothing tool. Maybe he just doesn't want it, but I love this. I love how he's got that extra brick down there. I actually really dig this. I can't like it for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. But really cool digs. Ooh, he's got... Ooh. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. I wonder if we can actually climb into his tower over there. Oh, my goodness. Is that a prop? Is this window a prop? Or is that, like, those hardcore pixels and he made it? I wonder. Seems like he's got a little bit of a downstairs here. Oh my goodness, this place just keeps going and going like a Duracell battery. Whoa. Ooh, he used those as a transition block. And then, oh. Then he's got cool, oh, I like this guy's build. I like this. And it goes to a bedroom. I like this. I like what this guy does, man. Hey, is this a portal back to the beginning? No, that's a safe. Or something. I don't know. I like it though. I like what the... I, awesome. I really wish I could like it. You know? I just gotta say, like, this is this is such a cool place, man. But you know what? I noticed that we're on 20 minutes. Not to mention there was that... F well, actually, we're probably much more than 20 minutes. Because of that bit at the beginning where I actually didn't... Oh, he's got it as a trap door. I didn't even know you could do that. That's awesome. But you know what? We are going to call it here. As far as today's episode, I have to journey all the way back now to the spire. And now I know that we can actually cut different types of trees based on the different area that we're in. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have my work cut out for me and have to try and find a desert biome and see if I can find some palm trees or a beach or something like that. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. I wish... 
Blah, blah. Don't forget to like the video. I really would appreciate it. That's why I wanted to say not I wish. I <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. Sign on. Stay epic, everybody. Your face.